Hey, I'm Drain. This is Dre Trading. Uh, I'd say it was a fun day for me. Um, I think ultimately I made money on the day. But first I'll point out yesterday, uh, for some reason, uh, my video was uh, corrupted or whatever going to YouTube. Um, I would just say yesterday was awful. It was really bad. I uh, was basically in the hunt with the mutual funds. We all kind of stank equally. I think everything was basically down around 1.34%, uh, something like that for all my type of things. I lost money on the day. It was really awful. But like uh, things like Apple, basically Apple was completely flat on the day. So even though like everything was like really bad, um, I was kind of almost fine. I mean, I did lose money. You know, one point, like a quarter is not good. You know, overall be losing. Um, but like I think uh, Apple at the end of the day was um, worth like $115 and like two cents. And my purchase thing for Apple, if I was going to purchase it again, is like a hundred dollars. So it, you know, things need to be you know really bad for me to get to a purchase uh, area for some of the things that I like. So yesterday was bad, really bad. But ultimately, it wasn't anything much more than just like you know, kind of a hint at a buying opportunity. But it didn't even really give me uh, anything for a buying opportunity. So that's basically all you know, yesterday was. And the reasoning, uh, the the talk for yesterday was basically just uh, you know. Pick your poison of the two headlines, uh, stimulus whatevers and coronavirus cases. Um, for coronavirus cases, um, I think that might be the one that a lot of people are kind of like looking at. It's just like that was the reason. I don't really think so because like, you know, weeks before that you had like cases and stuff like that. So I put that to the side. I say it's kind of like what I said on Friday where it's just like if we didn't have anything substantial uh, out of like even just dialogue, um, we were going to tank. Now, I didn't think it was going to happen instantly on Monday. But I felt like people needed something. That's why last week was kind of just flat. Because people were just like on the hopes that something was going to happen. But over the weekend, nothing happened. And then like onto Monday, it was just like, fine, we give up. Because um, like I, I would say, it's just like uh, at the lows yesterday for the Dow, we were down 900. I think like, you know, if it happened like hours before the market opened or if it happened like late Sunday or Saturday or something like that, both sides that are negotiating stimulus came out and were just like, oh my gosh, we are just this close, this close to getting a deal. Like, oh, oh man, I can almost guarantee this. And like, they didn't really say that they're going to do it, but they were just so close. If they, if you heard that type of talk, like on the weekends or, you know, moments before the, da the stock market opened, I think we would have not maybe had a great day on Monday, but I think we would have had just like a flattish whatever last week was. And that's like including all the, you know, coronavirus cases. That's including like anybody's like talk on COVID and stuff like that. So I think all yesterday had to do with uh, stimulus stuff. And maybe we got an extra like 100 down for the Dow because of uh, COVID. Like I think yesterday we ended the day 650 down. Um, at the end of the day, I think what like we pro we may have been at like 500 if uh, people didn't add in extra upsetness about COVID. So I think most of it yesterday had to do with um, uh, stimulus talk. Uh, but for today, you know, things are still awful, but the NASDAQ was up. I think uh, the Dow was down 222 and the NASDAQ was up 72. Um, and I think a fair amount of my things were uh, kind of doing well. So I think I actually made money on the day. So I'm pretty happy about that. I also made some moves in the TOD that I was happy about with how they went on the day. But I don't know how they'll end up looking, you know, a couple weeks from now. But um, I was happy. I, I think I made some smart moves. Um, but I guess uh, to get to those, I'll get to how my, my things did. Uh, leading the charge with Smith & Wesson up 5.47%. Um, that was up higher on the day. And that was one of my uh, things. So that... Ultimately, the total for me is 0.41. Um, but yeah, so at some point it was up high enough that I think I had gained 5% on my purchase. Um, now, obviously, you know, me being a greedy type of person and saying that stocks tend to be, you know, 10%, you know, in, you know, a year or whatever like that. At least that's what like you hope to have or at least 7%. I'd like to have my investments do more than 5%. But with how awful uh, Smith & Wesson has been doing, you know, despite elections going on, I was kind of happy to see that I was up 5%. And I kind of, uh, and I know that it had been red ultimately for me, like not too long ago and even on the day. So I got out while the getting was good. So I basically cut my uh, shares in half. Um, so whatever I had, I have half of it now. And basically now if it goes down some, I can be happy that, you know, I did make some sort of profit. 
um, but I still have half in it. So if it ends up, you know, crashing down 50%, I'm going to lose more money on the day. Um, but if um, it goes up some, you know, I'll be kind of happy. So I just kind of like got out a little bit because I want to have a little bit of cash on hand before, you know, election day happens and I think things start to tank down. Um, but I was happy with that. Um, after my purchase, after my selling, it did uh, kind of go down. It's down less than it was before. So, you know, uh, we'll see how it goes. Um, if, you know, by the end of the week, um, I have made 10% on my thing. It was a dumb idea to sell. But if by the end of the week, I'm only up 2% or if it's in the red, you know, I'll be, you know, smart. Uh, after Smith & Wesson, you have Zoom up 4.09. Happy to see that. Uh, the next one is Unity with 4.04. Uh, that's the other one I played around with. I took out a quarter of what I had uh, in Unity. Uh, it had been like rallying up, going crazy. I think on the day it was up 8%. So it basically, almost basically touched its all-time high. And I sold at that. And then like, you know, half an hour later, it was, you know, red on the day. So it was up like 8%. And then it was down like 2%. So I was just like, oh, maybe that's a 10% swing. Like maybe I should buy buy the Unity now. Now uh, at the end of the day, it's up 4.04. Uh, so if I bought on the lows for the day, I guess it would have been a 4% uh, gain on, the, on what I purchased. But, you know, I got a quarter out. I kind of figured it's just like, you know, it's just a quarter. It's not half like I did with Smith & Wesson. So if all of a sudden Unity is like Zoom or like Tesla, where like a month from now, it's like, crazy ridiculous um i'll be upset if i got rid of half of it just getting rid of a quarter of it i wouldn't be too upset uh and getting rid of a quarter of it if things do kind of turn crappy in the next couple of weeks and stuff like that i'll be able to get back in so i'm i'm happy with that purchase i'm happy with that move uh, we'll see how ultimately things go if i get back into it on a dip uh or if it rockets up past this and i was foolish to sell in the first place but that's that one. Then you have Nikola up 2.29, take two, 1.39. Apple, 1.34, happy to see that on a bad day. Um, Green Organic up 1.17. Til, uh, Tesla, 1.04, canopy growth, 0.7. And then you get into the losers. Uh, AstraZeneca down 1.12. Pfizer, 1.0. Uh, Beyond Meat, 1.58. Waifu, 2.06. DraftKings, 2.5. Uh, Boeing, 3.48. Tilray, 4.61. And Aurora Canvas, 9.1. Now on the day, I was uh, up uh, 0.24. So almost a quarter. Happy to see that. And against the mutual funds, the top one is 0.48. So that's uh, absolutely double uh, what I did. Then the next one is down 0.23. So better than that one. And then the last one is down 0.3. So uh, better than two of the three mutual funds. And the Roth was up 1.06. So that was better than all the mutual funds because uh, Apple I have there and NVIDIA. Uh, that was up 1.94, so that was really good. So on the day, I was up totally uh, 0.94. So happy to see that. I was down more yesterday. So of the two days together, I lost. So, you know, take that. Um, but yeah, did gain today. So I was, I'm happy ultimately. And what was the reason for up today? I wasn't really seeing much of anything. I'm kind of hoping that is all it was was kind of like a bottom of like people, you know, whatever with stimulus. And they were just like, okay, we had our sell off and, you know, we hit our bottom. Um, and that people are like not willing to get out of good things. Like Apple yesterday wasn't down anything and it was up today. So it's just like, it seems like a lot of people are kind of like, yeah, things are bad. Things aren't going well and stuff like that. Um, we're not going to get the stimulus and we're very upset about that. It's just like, okay, are you upset enough to get out of Apple? It's like, no, let's not go crazy. Um, so I think, you know, the good things are going to kind of stay good or at least they're not going to go down as fast as like some other things. So I think that's why like kind of the, the NASDAQ, you know, has, you know, did well today. Uh, maybe not as well as it kind of stank uh, yesterday, but you know, uh, I'm I'm kind of still happy with where October has gone. Um, I thought you know, you know I'm nowhere near where I was for lows on September, so you know October has been doing very well uh, com compared to my expectations. So I'm very happy about all that.
Uh, thinking about plans for the future, you know, I did a couple of uh, the things I was talking about. I wanted to get a little bit of cash on hand uh, before election day. Um, I think, you know, Smith and Wesson may have been a good one to do. I don't know, like, if I am kind of thinking that destruction and chaos is going to happen, you know, the days after the election, uh, that Smith and Wesson would be a good thing to be in because people are going to be like, oh, my God, chaos, guns, I want to get them. But um, I don't know. It's like things haven't exactly been peaceful and normal and whatever like that for the last couple of weeks since Smith & Wesson has been going down. So I don't know. I think Smith & Wesson did have its like election day high, like at the end of September, like kind of like when, you know, everything kind of crashed or the beginning of September when everything crashed. But yeah, I, I'm kind of upset I didn't play that one better when I was up like 20 percent or something like that. If I can get any green out of it, you know, I'll kind of be happy. But uh, that's why I left half of it in kind of thinking it's just like if chaos does come around the corner, if whatever happens, you know, maybe, you know, there is another bump that it can go up and, you know, I can get like 10 percent out of it. But um, Unity is another one that it's just like I had for the IPO bump. Um, has it already had its IPO fall? You know, there was some time that it was like kind of like crashing down, but, you know, it's still up ultimately uh, almost 50% for me. So it's can't, you can't exactly say that it's had like a fall with it being so close to its high recently. Um, so I am kind of looking at some things to get, kind of get rid of to have a little bit more of a cushion for cash on hand when election day happens. Because like I said, I think the next couple of days after election day, you know, it's just going to end up, you know, tanking. And then we're going to get an answer and I think it's going to shoot up. The question is like if all that happens, if there's a shoot up, um, will it be a quick shoot back down when people are just like, oh, these people still aren't going to do stimulus until like, you know, February or wherever like that. Um, or if they're going to be like, yeah, it might not happen until February, but we have the holidays. We have people like talking about all the goodies we're going to get when we do get stimulus and stuff like that. And we finally have people that are going to agree on things or whatever. Um, so I don't know if it'll be like a quick crash, just kind of a steady crash until we get a bill. But I do think, you know, election day, there will be something going down because it tends to usually happen on election days, usually just that night. I mean, that's what it tends to happen where it's just like on election night when like things are getting decided, it's tanking down and it's only the people that can trade after hours that are getting, you know, that type of benefit to get out of it. And then before the market opens the next day, it's basically where it kind of was the night before or it's up higher because like people did their selling and then they did their buying beforehand. So, but with this time around us, maybe not getting an answer for a while, it's, I think like a lot of people are going to have the opportunity to be part of that, you know, buying on the dip type thing. And I think the dip's going to be happen for, you know, a couple of days. So, you know, that's my planning on that. And like I said, um, after a couple of days, we'll have an answer and then it's going to shoot up. The question is what happens after that? But that's all my type of thinking that with that, uh, that's all my type of planning. Uh, I don't know what's going to be happening, but we'll have to see what tomorrow brings. All right.